that is AI next generation. In the previous video, we already have gone through the training part of the ANN model. We already done the training part of the CNN model. And you are able to see that CNN model is giving a higher accuracy as compared to the ANN model. So whenever you are dealing with the images of data, so at the time 100% you will get, not 100%, you can say 99.99% you will get the accuracy, more accuracy for the images in the CNN part than of the ANN part. Why we will get this thing? Already I explained this thing in the previous video. So hope so you can you have watched the previous video. So in this particular video, the main focus is to how to plot the particular training curve, testing curve, or uh, their accuracy, the uh, different between the accuracy, like how you are getting the training accuracy and how the training accuracy is increasing, how the testing accuracy is increasing. Okay, so whether you are uh, you have the problem of overfitting or underfitting, so you can just see, you can visualize this thing. Okay. What you can just do, you, you can just see in the previous what we have done, you can do the two things. Either you can just create, you can just return of this all the four list, all the four list in here, and you can just create the function. Either the other thing is that what you have to do, you have to just write the same training period like plot. Uh, you have to just write plot x train and y train for the here only. So whenever you will just run this function, this particular function after training, it will just plot the same as it is. Okay, so you are just writing everything into one function. So it will be like, like more clear for you. So what you have just doing. So first of all, we will train plot. Basically, we are going to plot. Okay, so plot training. Okay, training curve we are going to see for training and also we are going to for testing okay plot training versus testing we will see this thing so first of all what you are going to see so first of all you will just say the title okay so what is the title you are just training this particular training curve okay so you are just training this particular training curve training curve versus testing we can just say okay so you will see see how after every box you are just seeing means training and testing you are just plotting training and testing with respect to the epochs okay it does it makes like sense okay it makes <laughs> this sense so what does it mean that i'm just plotting training curve and testing curve and after every epoch in the same plot so you will able to see after every epoch how your training accuracy how your testing accuracy, it is increasing so okay so if we if your testing loss is decreasing and training accuracy is increasing you will say that is the problem of overfitting and if the boat accuracy is decreasing after every pro every epoch then you will say that is the problem of underfitting okay so that's we are going to see okay don't worry for that Okay. So this is the title you are just drawing and then after that you are going for the plt dot plot. So, okay, so plt dot plot. You already the first one is the i x axis. You already have the range or range of epochs we can just give. Okay, and then after that what you have to mention here. So you have to say uh, which particular training you want you are just doing. Whether you are just going for the training curve uh, that is particular. This is the x you have passed and in the y particular you will put the training accuracy. Okay, so we are we are just seeing this one only for the accuracy part. You can just write here accuracy and you can just give the label of that. Okay, this is the training accuracy you have just plotted for that. Okay training accuracy okay the similar way you have to plot for the testing accuracy okay so this particular graph is for the training and testing accuracy okay so yeah you can just write the testing uh, accuracy and then again you have to give the label of that and you have to just give the label test it is the testing accuracy okay so you will able to see okay with the help of legend okay you will just write plt dot legend why I'm just writing this one only should see the labels you will see in the top right position okay and this is what you have just written here so then after that even you can just give the x label and y label if you want x label you can just give as epochs after every epoch you are seeing some accuracy and then after you also you can give the y label okay y label and then after in y label what you are seeing uh, training uh, training what you're just seeing training and testing training and testing okay training and testing accuracy training accuracy okay so it's no problem for you and just write after that plt dot so plt dot so okay so you will get in the same plot you, you are just plotting the training curve for the uh, accuracy for the both training accuracy and testing accuracy okay <coughs> i'm sorry for that <coughs> one second <coughs> Sorry, I have cough and cold. <coughs> Sorry for that. Now we can just move to the plotting of the loss. Okay, we already plotted for the training and testing curve, training and testing accuracy. You can just write here. 
and now we will plot for the training and testing loss okay training and testing loss we are just curve you can just write curve it's not curve curve okay so it's like the same thing you can just write here plt dot plot you can just write uh, so first of all you can just give the title it's like good and you are just plotting for which you are just plotting for the training curve <coughs> training curve why i'm getting this <laughs> really i'm feeling too much cold to training curve uh, training uh, curve and testing why i'm writing curve here training accuracy and testing uh, training accuracy and testing accuracy with respect to epox here you are just writing training loss testing loss with respect to epox okay, that's it you don't have to write too much complicated and then after you have to plot the plt dot plot you have to write here and you have to plot with respect to range after every range means after every epochs sorry after every box what you are seeing how your uh, how your accuracy is uh, how your loss is decreasing okay for both training and testing phase okay for here you are just writing the training loss and then after you are just giving the label for that okay so you are just giving the label as this is the training loss and similar way you are just plotting for the uh first of all you will just write the length for the epochs and then after you are just plotting for the testing testing loss okay and testing loss again you will give the label for that this is for the testing loss the same and then after you will do the plt dot reason for the label and then after plt dot x label okay x label and uh, this here you will just write in x label you have epochs and in the y level you have y level you have basically the training training and tra ing and testing loss okay i don't think so you have the and then after you just write plt dot so okay. that's it this is the curve you can just plot this is how you are going for the training or you are seeing the accuracy for the both the training and testing and you are seeing the loss for the both the training and testing just run this particular function again so see this particular model again it will train it will take 10 epochs to train this particular model so during that time i will just make you clear about how you are just uh doing for the training period how yes wow x and y must have first dimension but have separate what i have done this thing previous it was like okay x and y dimension i have done something silly mistake okay so what i have done what i can just say you what this error wow value error x and y have the same first dimension but the same bet have the shape of 10 comma 1 comma 0 what the heck is that or you have model you have loss you are just using optimizer then after you're just going for train loss function for in the training period i have done <laughs> nothing else i have done uh, that's it but uh, what i can do you can just plot this thing after oh okay 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 Hmm, I'm just plotting everything inside the this, okay? Okay, now it will run, okay? Sorry for that. It's basically, I think you also understand what I have done the mistake. Mistake was only, the thing is that I'm just writing this plot inside this particular loop. That is the epochs loop. You don't have to write inside the epoch loop. Every epoch, so why it will give you some output, okay? so in that you will get some accuracy and then after you will plot okay so that's uh, yeah you can do this type of common mistake you are just writing everything inside the for loop so you have to make outside the for loop so after completion of every training period so you will see the loss curve and training curve so after every one epoch what you what will be the loss and what will be the accuracy okay so this way you are just getting this after we will see we will wait for that no worry even we will not pause the video so during that time i will explain you which particular model you have to choose in what phase so this this was i think 
the basic from part one to part six or part seven we already have explained you how to deal with the data how to do how to create the different model how to train the model how to go for the testing model how to do the visualizing term so this is the really basic thing you already have seen you know if you have done this thing really well during the first phase because they are like uh, you can just say beginner if you are really beginner in the pytorch so this is the abcd for that what we are just creating the model from the scratch everything they are really complicated model you will going to use whenever you are seeing so this how you are just seeing see training accuracy how it is increasing and uh, how the testing accuracy uh, sometimes you can just run this one till then then what i what is the, you are just getting here you are getting as training accuracy as 54 percent testing accuracy is 57 percent after 10 epoch okay so you are, now you are just visualizing after every epoch how your training accuracy it is increasing even it is increasing there is a no overfitting problem i think so okay so it's really good your training curve the orange one you can just say this one is the testing accuracy and the blue one it is a training accuracy so you are able to see that both they are just increasing okay so both they are increasing after every epoch even you can just say you can just mention as 20 epoch okay so you will get more accuracy in that but whenever in the case will be the no increment of the training accuracy increment of the training accuracy and testing accuracy decreasing at that time you can say there's a problem of overfitting problem but you are not getting any overfitting problem and here this how the loss it is decreasing okay so how the loss it is decreasing is you are just seeing this thing after every epoch you will see the training loss is decreasing and the, even the testing loss it is decreasing okay yeah so then after we are running for the CNN hope so it will run soon because CNN model you are making your model too much heavy model okay so what does it mean you are making your heavy model means it's really different from the ANN so already you know if you are doing the problem if you are just understanding how to build CNN model so you have learned in the CNN about uh, how we have done everything from the scratch even this is my website you can just go through my website you can just read this particular blocks i have mentioned too many blocks related to the my website that is uh, of the deep learning several deep learning and yeah what i can do i can just log out so it will be like more clear for you okay so now i can just run this again why it's showing this one Okay. so this is what this is my website so from here you can just learn so i have also updated many blocks so blocks is it is under progress about the deep learning and that about the uh, machine learning machine learning every algorithm you will get from this particular video let that things to train okay at that time you can just explore in this particular website so there also i have just uh, i have just doing everything probably projects related to the data science or deep learning machine learning or python okay so I, uh, before you see now if you are just starting the ops you should i know you you already know this thing but still you should know the everything related to the ops ops is like the backbone for the python because every concept what you are just creating it is what you are using the oops concept that is a class that you are using methods okay that's already i have also written this thing you can you can just read this thing from this particular blogs and even if you are re want to read the deep learning even for the deep learning i have written the blogs it is under progressive or the computer vision or yolo object detection even i will just uh, create the video using the pytorch or tensorflow how to detect the object uh, everything we will see with the help of yolo so yolo is basically used for the object detection i have uh, described you can just this is the theory part what i explain in my blog in my website and, and even i what what i was saying about the overfitting problem underfitting problem you are getting from this okay so when you will have the overfitting when we have underfitting i'll explain you i have explained you here also about the activation function i think you know about this uh, and about the amnesty data recognition in the part the same thing you will get the coding part here also but it is really different because i have explained you only with the ann model okay so here you i have explained in the video you are getting the cnn model an model both okay and sorry for that i am speaking too much fast so and also in the recurrent neural network in the with with the help of pytorch i have just do everything from the scratch even the coding part you are able to see okay so this basically the text classification problem i have done so this thing is that you can do many things with the deep learning you have n number of you can do projects in the deep learning okay so don't worry it's like yeah it's, we are getting much accuracy or we are getting higher accuracy as compared to the tier ann model as you already we have seen in the previous video also okay this is the one two epochs will be run then after we have done with that we will see the how the training accuracy is increasing after every epoch and how the training loss and training uh, testing loss it is decreasing after every epoch okay 
so this was the basically about the cnn and ann and everything from the scratch to the visualizing part i have just explained if you have just done from the part one video to part this particular video then you are you have done everything because this is the only the concept you are going to use in the pattern in the whole whenever you are building the model okay so you are able to see how it's good your model is giving your accuracy it's like 91 percent is not a bad accuracy even what you're getting after every epoch your the accuracy is increasing okay so suddenly if the there will be the constant then you can just drop that particular base because after that you may rise up the overfitting problem okay so here also you are just seeing the testing accuracy and testing loss it is decreasing okay so this was the about the visualizing part you have done the training you have done you have created the model then after for the uh, cnn model you have created rnn model you have created ann model you have created you have know about the data visualizing term you have done data loader you know how to train the data set or everything you have done what what you are expecting in the python you should know you have if you have just watched from the part one to here up to visualizing part so you are clear with the basic stuff you are clear with the problem you are going to use for the object detection or image classification problem you are going to use you are clear with this this type of concept we are going to use again in the next series we are going to see some garbage classification some we will do some projects that is a heavy project we will do so we will take a garbage classif classification problem so that thing we will see in the next video okay so i will up, again i will start the projects on the pytos i will upload so many projects in the pytos related to the computer vision so yeah that's it for this video hope so if you like please subscribe our channel thank you